name is Jackie Garland. I work too much and I own Sundance orchids. <laughs> we have all kinds of orchids, air plants, bromeliads, we make arrangements, um, we repot orchids for customers, for us, a little bit of everything. My name is Elijah Sperlin. Um, I'm co-owner of Sundance Orchids with my fiance Jackie Garland. Um, been doing this now just over three years. Since day one, the first time I come out here with her, uh, I'd always said I really love this property. I love this location. Man, it'd be awesome to live out here. And just so happened her boss was wanting to retire and kind of threw the opportunity out there if we wanted to buy it. Basically ask her first, but you know, she, me and her talked about it and we're like, yeah, we, you know, I think we can make this transition. Um, so yeah, it was a complete, you know, 360 from anything I had ever done before. Um, and then the first nine months, you know, just trying to learn. We, we did keep a gentleman on here that had also been here for 10, 10 plus years. Uh, so he has been basically my professor of plants, so I just have shadowed him and learned as much as I can off of him um, and just kind of took it from there. But, you know, first nine months we basically just tried to clean the place up, make it look more presentable, um, try to put our own touch on it. We do not have a manager and different um, structures yet. Um, we are actually in the current process of hiring three employees and we are looking for a manager to help it because him and I have been doing a little bit of everything because we financially couldn't afford that many people with replacing all the buildings and fixtures and plants. So um, we are hiring a manager to help us out and then typically in the bromeliad house we, we have a bromeliad manager but he's just been here forever and he knows the most. So he's what we call our little bromeliad manager. And then I'm always in the orchid house. So we don't have full on structure yet, but we are working there now that the building's done. That's our next big step. Before Irma, I had always had rentals. I had never really had my own piece of property or anything like that. So I grew up in Indiana. I had been down here now over 15 years. Uh, but before when there was a hurricane coming, it was just a normal, hey, throw a hurricane party and you know, let's, it's not a big deal. It's not my house, I'm renting it, you know. So worst case, you just have to get out of the Dodge. Uh, so that was probably the biggest transition because it was the first time you actually had a storm. It's like, well, this could actually really affect me. Um, so yeah, that was very stressful. And then I knew a little bit about the orchids, but still learning. Um, did not really know how sensitive they were to the sun. So we were so stressed out about preparing for everything. Me personally never even crossed my mind about what we were gonna do after the storm was over. And right after the storm, like one of the first things we did when we got back on the property, you know, of course, look at all the damage. And then I look over and I see Jackie start to cover in plants. And that was probably the first time I ever even thought, oh, oh yeah, like these, these can die, like, you know, um, like I said, we had only owned the business nine months, so it was just, everything was a new experience as it was. So pretty much put us in a whirlwind. Um, but yeah, we spent after Irma, probably two weeks just doing nothing but covering stuff up and trying to protect, protect it as much as we could. Uh, so that was a big, big difference. Um, very stressful. The things I didn't know with Irma, I wish I knew is like what to do for a storm and who to call for materials when all the other companies were sold out of materials. Like that kind of stuff, I had not a clue. Not one clue. Um, so after Irma, our, my old boss came to us and asked us if we wanted to continue or if we wanted to call it quits. Part of us wanted to call it quits because it was so much damage and we didn't know what to do, but there was no way we were gonna stop there. Um, so it took us about almost two and a half years to finally fully recover. We have a little bit more stuff to do, but we had to do it in steps because everything's been out of pocket. We bought a business nine months before Irma, almost to the day, and she cost us, I'd say close to $200,000 in a few hours. Um, a lot of our plants, um, because she ripped off all of our roofs, or a lot of our roofs, um, a lot of our plants just got burned by the sun because there was only a few of us here trying to cover the plants. So certain things like that 
we just financially could only, we had to figure out which was the best choice at the time to recover. Our house is up on stilts here. There's the first floor and they had hurricane shutters. Um, so that was probably the first time I, it wasn't my first hurricane I've been through, but it was the first time you set through it, you heard it. And the whole time you're thinking, oh my God, what is going on back at our property? And then, yeah, the nervousness of just the first time coming down the road, not knowing what you're gonna pull into. And then we pulled into a lot of, lot of damage. So yeah, it was, it was pretty upsetting, pretty stressful, um, especially, you know, just on top of just, just being new owners and dealing with all that came with that already. So it wasn't something we were prepared for and didn't know how to deal with, but luckily we, we've got through it and pretty much all the repairs have been made and we're doing very well. You know, thankfully, we're very lucky. So. Um, yes, in the future, if we have another storm, if when we do, um, we are definitely going to be more organized and have a different s structure on how we're going to do different procedures. We are going to start with the orchid house first. We are going to cover some of the plants. We are going to move them underneath the tables because a lot of them went flying. There wasn't enough weight on the plants. We are gonna have certain people move all the decorative pots. They're gonna move all the driftwood because we had to do that at the last minute. So everyone's going to do a little different system um, and hopefully we have a little bit more time to prepare than we did last time. At the very last, what we will do is cut off the roofs, which we did not know before and we learned.